hi welcome back to my channel i have collections of designs saved on my phone to create in future so this red dress is part of it i'm going to be showing you how to create a pattern to, for this red dress and i'm going to be using an a4 size paper just uh, just an illustration of how to come up with the pattern so i'm going to be using this materials right here to create the pattern so first you get your measurement and also your pattern paper you create a structure in your pattern paper by um, drawing one inch at the side and one inch on top i like to start by marking out my vertical measurement starting with the neck then down to the length of the dress because of how tight the neck is, I'll be using 3 inches for the length of the neck. Next, I'll mark up my armhole depth point. My armhole depth is 8 and a half inches plus 1.5 inches for my shoulder slant. So I'm just going to mark out 10 inches. That's my armhole depth point slash my bust point. Next, I'll mark up my waist point which is 16 inches from the top down next I mark out my hip point which is 25 inches from the top down you can mark out your dress lines but I did not mark out my dress lines yet next I drew a line across those points the vertical points it's time to mark out the horizontal measurement first I started with the neck width. The neck width is 3 inches. I marked down the neck length and on the shoulder point, then square across. I got the half measurement of my back width, which is um, 8 inches. I marked that on the shoulder line. I also marked 8 inches on the armhole depth line and drew a line connecting the two points. Next, I mark out the shoulder slant. Shutter slant is 1.5 inches. I marked that out on the armhole line and connected it to the neck. Next, I created the armhole curve. To get the armhole curve, you need to get the midpoint of your armhole line. Then, after marking the line, you go in 1 over 4 inch then you mark one inch from the bust line the armhole line up one inch just to get that curve then also you mark quarter of your bust measurement mine is nine inches then you mark it on the bust line or the armhole depth line then you create the armhole curve they just guidelines to get a good armhole curve Next, you mark out the quarter measurement of the waist, which mine is seven and a half inches. So you just mark that out and connect from the armhole point down to the waist. Then you mark your the quarter of your hip measurement, then three over eight inches. Then you connect that. Then you connect the line straight down to the length of your dress. The, length, the total length of my dress is 31 inches so the flare is 5 inches while the normal top part will be 26 inches so I'm just gonna like take 26 inches length for now then the 5 inches which will be attached to the length of the dress that's the flare next I smoothen the hip line on the waistline so for to get the neck curve you mark in one inch and the top 1.5 inch to create your neck curve at this point i traced out the front to get the back before um, adding my dress design what you need to do is to place a fresh pattern paper underneath the front pattern then you trace I'm just creating the foundation block pattern before triggering it to create the design of the dress. Now you draw out the shape for the to create the back pattern. So for the back pattern, we need to make adjustment to the neck. The neck 
from the shoulder down you mark one inch then you connect to create the back neck curve also added half inch to the armhole curve just to raise it up a bit for the back pattern back to creating the design for the front pattern i marked my under bust from the shoulder down which is 13 and a half inches After marking the underbust, I drew a line across. It's time to create the dot. So I marked the midpoint of my waist. You can mark your bust distance or the midpoint of your waist. So I marked the midpoint of my waist. I went down four inches and I went up four inches. Then at both sides of the point, I went the other side half an inch and the other side half an inch, then connected the dot. After that, I drew the midpoint line all the way to the length of the dress. I also did the same thing for the back pattern. one inch left at the front will be used as um, one inch for zip allowance at the back after creating the dot i marked out the one inch that allowance at the waist and connect then i connected from the armhole depth to the waist then from the waist to the hip so did the same thing for the front pattern For the back pattern, I erased the dots on the on the bust line. So that is all for the back. The back is smooth, so there's nothing to the back. Just add your zipper, and that is it. So next, I cut out the pattern, not all the way. I just cut out the top from the bottom. Then I will cut out the remaining. So let's get back to the front. For the front, I cut out the top the bottom from the top because we still need to make like few um details we still need to create few details at the top of the pattern so i just cut out the bottom to create space for the top so for the top we need to add the gathering effect on the the on the on the bust sorry we need to create that gathering effect on the on the bust get the gathering effect of the under bust what i did was to get the midpoint from the dot line i got the midpoint at the side then from the center front i also got the midpoint so this midpoint line i created a dot so i created a dot of one inch that's half inch on both sides then the length of the dot line is three inches so it depends on how you want the gathering if you want more gathering you have to create a fuller that and if you want the garden to be a little bit up you have to increase the length of the dots maybe four inches five inches just depending on how you want the garden under the bust next you add the two inches that allowance at the side of the under bust then you connect from the armhole down to the under bust so that is it for both pattern next next i cut out the that just to separate the bottom pieces next I created the flare so the flare has this gathering and um, flowy bottom so for the flare I used the measurement for the bottom of the skirt so it depends on how full you want the flare so my flare is um, the measurement of the the bottom the measurement of the bottom times two 
this all depends on how flowy you want your flare so you can you can do more you can do times two times times three just depends so i'm doing times two so the length of my flare is five inches because the total length of my dress is 31 26 inches for the for the top dress why five inches for the flare so um the width is times two of the bottom of the skirt and the length is five inches so and it's going to be cut in full the same way the pattern is going to be cut in full the flare is going to be cut also in fold after creating the flare i drew slash lines because the bottom of the flare has this flowiness to it like a circle kind of so um, I drew slash lines, there's no measurement to the slash lines. So after drawing my slash lines, I cut that open to enable me spread. So you just place the fold parts at the end of your new pattern paper. Then you spread, depending on how flowy you want, spread one inch, two inches, just depending. But you have to place the fold part straight on the pattern, then you spread the rest. Then after that, I drew the slash um, lines. I just drew it so I can get a piece. So you need a neck facing so i just marked out two inches the neck length and the shoulder then connected so you just mark out two inches two inches round then you connect those points so you do that for the front and the back so and you trace with your tracing wheel so now it's time to create the sleeve so i have so many ways to create a sleeve so many so this is like another way to create a sleeve so my sleeve length is 14 inches so I'm just gonna um, draw a line down 14 inches oh yeah I forgot to create a structure on the pattern paper so you just have to like it, it, it like so um drafting from the edge of the paper i don't think it's right so you just have to like draw a line so everything is smooth when you curve so yeah so at the side i left one inch one inch on both sides yeah just to make that curve really smooth so it will be pointy i like it pointy but you can do it this way so this is another way so next to get the cap height you get the measurement of your front and back sleeve divided by three watch my other videos on how to create a fitted um, dress or a buttocks block you see how i um came up with the measurements of um okay yeah just watch the video so you get the measurement of your front and back sleeve divided by three then you mark that out then next you get the same measurement of your front and back sleeve divided by two minus 1.5 inches then you mark that out on both sides equally then you can draw a triangle from the one inch point at the side divide the diagonal lines by three so you just divide it by three the two lines then it's time to create that guideline for the curve, the sleeve curve. So for the front, the front is different from the back. So for the front, you go up by three over four inch. For the back, you go up one inch. You get the midpoint of the third point. Then you go in three over eight. Why you also get the midpoint for the other third point, then you go in one over four. Then you create your curve. You take your time. If you make a mistake, you erase and 
create a perfect curve with those guidelines so that's all i did to get that height the sleeve cap height then you connect down to the elbow you connect the line down all the way down no shape nothing to the elbow then you create your slash lines next i cut up on the slash lines spread then we create my sleeve this is all for the tutorial thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe bye